right, so this is like my my fourth take of this. I've been kind of droning on with it and just trying to trying to make it concise, but I've realized it's not going to happen. And this is just more of a an emotional thing rather than just you know saying points that are that are true, but just you know trying to get points across. It's more more thought process. Anyway, uh, what I what I wanted to talk about was the recent recent thing between Non and and Nate. Now this this really this really makes me sad because it's something that Nate doesn't deserve in the slightest, and he's tried to do everything in his power to you know keep things like this from happening, keep everyone happy, and I don't know he just really doesn't deserve this. I'll, I'll try and start from the beginning so that everyone can actually get an idea of what's gone on since the dicing thing started, so that you've all got some backstory to go off of, not just. You know, just starting right from uh, right from in there. So originally, uh, Nate and I were just talking on Skype, and you know, he's like, "Hey, we should totally make a Dyson Clan chat." Like, you know, we've got money, but like, we don't have that much money. I see all these people running around; they've got so much money, and like, I, you know, I'd like to make some more money. And it's not scamming people. We're not saying, "Hey, come here, or I'll never make videos again." No, it's just like if you want to bet money, come to us. You can bet it. We are legitimate. We're gonna pay out your money, whatever. And I'll do my very best, which now has gone a little downhill because people are morons. But I'll try my very best to get, you know, people that I know as generals and, you know, hosts that are legitimate as well and will do payouts and stuff. And he was trying to make money off it, of course. But at the same time, he just wanted it to be completely legitimate. Not, hey, I'll do all the 5 to 10 mils, but when someone bets a Santa, pff, oh, sorry guys, DC'd. No, like, it's completely legitimate. And he he jumped into it head on. And he made the clan chat. He made the clan chat. Okay, fine. He got all the generals together. He did trying to talk to all these people to get them in positions and stuff and seeing when they could be on and just doing all that stuff. And then he tries, he, he has to go to do advertising and stuff because obviously, you know, just going off that one first vid, that was great for like 40 hours. It was a really good steady stream. But after that, it started to go down. It started to slow down, you know, gradually. But in the last couple days, it's just been pretty, pretty dead. It's been, you know, maybe like five people there at an average time, but other times there's just absolutely, absolutely no one there. And that, that makes sense because there hasn't been a lot of advertising that's, that's been going on. And it's really hard to advertise a dicing thing because so many YouTubers are doing this. And Nate's tried to take everything into his own hands all at once from the very beginning. He stayed up really late trying to get everything just to try and keep it alive, to try and keep going, to message all these YouTubers, to try and get them to, uh, to promote the the channel and just he's trying to do all the logistics for that and then he's trying to keep all the generals happy well not the generals happy the, uh, the people happy with the generals you know if there's any problems he can explain them and just I can't say everything because I can't really think of everything on the fly right now but he's just been trying to do everything himself he's doing all the advertising all the keeping people happy all the videos he made that entire YouTube channel the same day he tried to get as many videos up on that as he could all at once just to, you know, try and help promote it, help get it going, keep it going. He wants to keep it alive. You know, make the money that people paid for the spot to be worth it. And that makes sense. That does. Um, he gave a lot of free spots away. I got a free general spot. I got a free host spot. Uh, 420 Arch got a free host spot. Um, so other people got cheap host spots just because they were friends. And they still needed, you know, he wanted to have people pay money to come in because he needed to pay for advertising and did want to make, you know, some money off it. And people made bank. Like, in one day, you would make 500 mil to one bill. Like, this was no this was no cheap thing. So, you know, one bill for a rank is not, is not very much money. And what happened after all that, and, you know, it started to slow down a bit. But still, like, even just right now, if you were there for a night, you would, on a bad night, make, I don't know, for four hours that you were there, something like 100 mil, maybe 200 mil. And on a good night, you would make 500 mil or 600 mil. Like, even though it's really crappy right now, you can still come out pretty profitable if you're, you know, one of two hosts overnight or something. It wouldn't work if there were, like, three or four. Anyway, he's been trying really hard to do all this himself, and it put it put a toll on him. Like, I was... He seemed a little more distant early on just because he had been drinking, like, 5,000 monsters to try and stay awake and energy drinks and just trying to, trying to go, 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 do it all, get all the logistics of it, treating it like an actual business 
and he just got thrown into the role of being the uh, the CEO forward and trying to do everything all at once himself. And it made me made me feel bad for him because he didn't he didn't seem to be doing so well from it. And finally, he gets everything as well under control as he can, and then he starts asking Jens for for money, so that he can pay for advertising. Because the entire point of a dice clan chat is that it gets publicity for people to go there and to spend money and a lot of them make a lot of money and a few of them lose little bits of bit of money and those little bits of money times a lot of people makes the hosts slowly make profit because they have more chance to win so eventually you know mathematically they'll make uh, they'll make money and that's how it works and you know I made videos of payouts I tried to do my part for it he made videos of payouts other people made some videos of payouts other people you know, PM YouTubers trying to like get people with a decent amount of subs to do shoutouts and stuff. And we were all, you know, one of us in one way or another, we were trying to do some part to help keep it alive because it is, is right now. Like it's still, you know, it's afloat a little bit, but it's, it's dying and it was dying. So he was trying really hard to keep it alive and, you know, it was hard for him. And, you know, it's not like, oh, it's so hard for him. No, it's just like it's, it's a hard thing when you're doing 10,000 things all at once. So he was trying to ask uh, Jens for about 100 mil each per week to keep uh, revenues up, and it, it had been four days. Like, this is just one payment. Calm down. You make 500 mil to one bill a night? Pretty sure 100 mil just for shoutouts to keep people coming to you so that you make money and pay out, you know, 300 mil to one lucky guy or something and, like, 40 mil to someone else and just, you know, whatever, you slowly make money, you will make money. Like, I don't, I don't see why everyone's complaining about this. And, uh, he didn't charge Missy, I believe, because she didn't, she hadn't made her money back from buying the host rank spot, and I think she just made it back, like, a couple hours ago. She just broke even from, uh, from where she bought it. So she had made the 800 mil over those couple days or something. And, you know, that all happened, and it was starting to go down, and then Non started causing a lot of trouble. And what he did initially was he started a riot, and he just gathered up a ton of people, a ton of ranks in uh, Ice Giant 99's clan chat, so, you know, Nate's clan chat, like his normal clan chat, and he got all the ranks there, and he got them to parade around with a bunch of people and say, like, hey, we're ranks in your normal clan chat, we deserve free rank in your dice clan chat, rawr, 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 rawr. and they were just going around preaching about that, and non brainwashed them all, and... Apparently he's a very good motivational speaker, and he got them all to go around and try and just like riot for free host ranks in uh, in the Dice Clan chat, and that was that was just the first you know quote incident, and then later, he uh, which is I guess I guess the current one, is the fact that he's made over three bill, like it at least at least three bill. And how I know this is that he hasn't logged off for ages. He was there for three days, 24-7. There are multiple people that can vouch for this, that his brother was on the account playing for him, and he just split the profits with him. Like, hey, you know, my account has a rank in this clan chat. Just fucking, I'm going to go to bed, you go here for eight hours, and we'll make bank together. Psh, okay. Sell it in real life, whatever. I don't know. Whatever reason, he, he did that. He made one bill his first day overnight. He's the, been there for three days straight, and uh, beyond doubt, who, I don't want to say was conspiring with him, because it makes me sound all all FBI-ish, but, uh, you know, I was working with him and, like, trying to, trying to undermine everything with him. You know, he's made over, like, at least three pill two. And it's just, it's, it's stupid that they would put so much, like, hey, I don't feel like paying a hundred mil for helping advertise to keep this alive because it's dying. So, you know, I'm just I'm just not going to pay it. Fuck you, I've only made three bill. Like, uh, durr. <laughs> it's just, it's stupid. And now he's going to all this trouble because, remember, he's got, he's got three bill right now. He has made a lot of money from this. And he's going around paying all these big YouTubers to favorite his video, to like the video, to give more traffic to it to do, like, you know, feature his video and stuff, to, you know, just try and undermine Nate as much as he possibly can because he's a butthurt little cunt. And I hate it. I hate it. 
Cause I've known Nate for I don't I don't even know how long like six eight months, maybe a year. God, I don't know. Like I've known him I've known him for a while, and he's a legitimate guy. He doesn't lie. He doesn't scam. He doesn't cheat. Like fuck, he's he's a teacher. Like he said in his real life, it like he doesn't. You know, he's he's a real person. He hasn't. You know, his YouTube, for instance, he's got fifty. I don't know two K subs or whatever. All those other people with like 10k subs, 20k subs, 30k subs, whatever, and their YouTubes get hacked? No, no, no. You know what they did? They asked someone to make them a custom rat fishing program, keylogger, whatever, and then they get their YouTube hacked. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, guys. I didn't know. Oh my god. My YouTube got hacked for 10 days by insert famous hacker's name here. And oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, my next video is, my next bank video is going to be like, you know, 10 bill richer by the, uh, by the way. Like, it's just, it's just fucking stupid. They don't get their YouTubes hacked. They say they get it hacked so that they can just scam all their viewers and subscribers. And it's just, it's absolutely stupid. Do you know why his hasn't been hacked yet? Because he hasn't fucking said yes to all these messages. Hey, dude, you got 52k subs. Do you have any idea how much money you could get off fishing those? Like, he... <laughs> It's just, it's stupid. He does not deserve all this bad press, all this hate towards him, all these people calling him a scammer. I just, oh, it pains me. It really does. Because I see a friend who has tried so hard to keep everything under control, try and do everything himself, which was, which is silly. But, you know, he's tried really hard to do things himself and just, just keep everything stable, keep everyone happy, and keep, keep the community going and then someone turns around and gets just gets butt hurt and stabs him in the back and the only reason he's keeping it going now like he's paying people one mil an hour to auto type that Nate's a scammer he's paying you know bigger YouTubers even more money to like feature favorite like his video and you know increase views to it and try and get more people to believe it and just try and tarnish his reputation and it's just it's just so stupid I just can't understand this. And I know I don't have many subscribers or viewers really compared to Nate's, but I just want to make this vid because I just... Like, the video that's trolling Nate made by Non actually has a really high like-to-dislike ratio, and I just wonder if people are just misinformed, if people honestly think that Nate's scamming people, or, like, what's what's going on? I just, I just, I don't know what to do, and now Nod's just keeping it going because he wants publicity. Like, all his subscribers came from being, uh, being a Nate sub box and having a shout out ages ago or whatever. Like, everything that he has from YouTube came from Nate, and now he just wants to backstab Nate to get all this e-drama fame going on and hope that people, oh my god, you got scammed by Bonesaw, yay, you're a bit of turmoil up here, I'll subscribe to you. And apparently, maybe subscribe to his videos or something. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing it for, but he's keeping it going. He's paying people a lot of money to keep this going. And a lot of people, because of that, because it has so much momentum, because he's fueling it with fucking, like, a three-bill bank, are believing it. And, I don't know. I just hope that you guys can, I don't know, think, look past it, and... Oh, my apologies. And realize that he's not a scammer. That he's just a real person like you and me. And the reason his YouTube hasn't been hacked yet is because he hasn't agreed to fish everyone yet because he thinks that's the stupid fucking idea ever. Stupidest fucking idea ever. Like, he likes fans and viewers because they're fans and viewers. Because it... I don't know, because they're nice to him. Because it helps... I want to say, like, gives him an ego boost. I don't want to say that. Um... Like, helps his morale, makes him feel better, and just, it's, it's a great feeling to have videos that people unlike, that people like and enjoy, and to entertain people, and he does it, and he goes around, and he likes being a legitimate YouTuber, and now he's going around, and on all his recent videos, he just sees, like, two, three full pages, oh my god, you're a scammer, phone's a scammer, ah. You know, most of them are just being paid by non. Other ones have just jumped on the bandwagon. Hey, look, everyone suddenly hates Bonesaw. Yay, let's all hate Bonesaw. Pitchforks and torches. Go, go, go. It's stupid. It is completely, completely stupid and unneeded. I don't know. I've been I've been going on for a while. This is almost 15 minutes long. But I hope you've listened to enough of it. 
to realize that Nate was just put okay okay TLDR just click an annotation or fucking like look in the description or not description fucking somewhere for say to go here <laughs> Nate was put in a really really tough spot that is hard for a lot of people to cope with and I don't mean that he didn't handle it well I just mean it was it was a big change for him to suddenly be the CEO of a virtual business and then Non didn't want to help advertise in the slightest. He just wanted to keep, you know, making money. He had already made three bill. He didn't want to even drop any money just to make someone else do the advertisement work, but just put some money towards it so that they could uh, pay people for shoutouts or whatever. And he just he just didn't want to do anything to contribute anything at all. And on top of all that, he had his brother playing on his account. Multiple people have vouched for this that know him. And... He was just on 24/7 for three days straight, not giving anyone else a chance. Like I got my I got my rank for free. I went from 250 mil to one bill in the first evening. The next day, I got hacked and lost about 1.2 bill. I say 1.2 bill because he scammed some of my friends on my list while he was on my account. And I the only reason I have money left is because he was continuing to dice, but he his power got cut out or fuck I don't know. And I managed to get on, and there was uh, there was some money in the inventory, and I had some money in the bank, and it amounts to about 150 mil. And I've had time to go on when there aren't many other gens there that bought their rank. For uh, I made about 100 mil today, so I'm at 250 mil. But I'm now even, and I want to give other people a chance to make money because they you know they bought the rank, they should get their money's worth. But people are sitting on like three bill, and non was just one of those people that didn't give anyone else a chance to make any money. Or to even host or even have a chance to do, I don't know, 500 mil payout and lose money, whatever. Just, like, have a chance to actually host because he had his brother account sharing and just he split money with him in real life. I don't know. Nas just doing it for e-fame and e-drama and he wants to tarnish as much of Nate's reputation as he can because he's a butthurt little baby. And I just, I just don't believe that Nate deserves any of it. So I hope you guys have... I well, haven't had too bad of a time listening to all my rambling, and that's that's about it. Yeah.